Hey, this is Ralph, and in this video I want to use a little JavaScript in order to hide a section of a form. So one of my students uh, found a web page where they were doing some, something like this, and I thought, oh, okay, that's pretty cool. And certainly you've seen order forms where you check a box, and basically it takes all the information from one part of the uh, form and fills in another part of the form. I think we can tackle that in a separate video. But for now, I just want to hide this section. So basically, when somebody clicks or checks this little checkbox here, I'd like the shipping information to disappear. So let's go ahead and take care of that. Um, before we start up, though, I, I have this basic form already created. And I actually used this for a, a video a few days ago. And I'll make this web page available. Let me zoom out just for a quick second so you kind of get a good overview. So it's a basically a pretty simple form. I've got two field sets on here to keep track of one billing info and the other one of course is keeping track of my shipping information. I've got a checkbox in here using an input to create the little checkbox and of course at the bottom I have an input submit button which is not really a, an essential for this demo within a form tag. So um, basic form there. I've got a little bit of styling on there so you can check this out if you uh, link over to the demo file and review that. I'm using a couple of attribute selectors pretty effectively here and these are pretty neat and something you may not have used before so check out those attribute selectors. Alright, let's go ahead and get into this. And I'm gonna go ahead and put my script right here internal on the page. right in there and I will go ahead and take a moment to zoom in on this and I'm gonna create a function so my function will be to show show hide uh, ship info alright so I've given my function a name I'm using a camel case uh, empty set of parentheses, we don't need to pass any arguments here, and then I've got an opening and closing set of curly braces that will contain the statements for my function, which is going to be a basic if statement, an if else actually. So an, an if statement or conditional here in JavaScript, um, our argument, our logical test is going to go inside of the parentheses, and if that is true, then it will do the things that are within the curly braces else it will do the things within these curly braces. So if this thing is true, do this. Or else, do that. Okay. Now the thing that I want to look for is the checked status of that checkbox. Now my checkbox, by the way, is uniquely identified. There it is right there. It's called ship same. So in my JavaScript, document.get element by ID, lowercase d, um, ship same dot checked. Let me zoom out so that's all in one line. Okay, so a checkbox and radio button for that matter are kind of unique in that uh, the checked status of them, if they are checked, that's true. If they're not checked, it's a false, which means I don't actually have to type in a comparison operator, something like through. I don't need to do that. Okay, um, I could, and it actually probably wouldn't hurt me in most of the modern browsers. But this is kind of weird because this implies if it's a checked checkbox, that would imply it is true equal to true, and that would be a true statement. As opposed, if it was unchecked, it would be a is false equal is true, and that would be a false statement. So this is why it would probably work, but it's not essential. So we can just look at the checked, and if it's truly checked, well, then what do I want to do? I want to go to my document, get element by ID, and of course I need to get the ID for my field set now. It's going to be my ship info, and I'm going to do a, a style dot display equals none. There we go, so that's my statement. So if that checkbox is checked, then I'm going to take the display CSS property of my shipping info element and I'm going to set the display to none. Or else, in fact let me just do a little copy paste here, I'm going to set it to block, which is what it is by default. Okay, so 
this function called show hide ship info is going to check to see if my ship same checkbox is checked. If it is, then the shipping info will disappear. If it's not checked, then the shipping info will appear. Now I just need to call this function. Let me just delete some of those spaces. So my function is called show hide ship info. I'll just go ahead and copy that. I'm going to head down to my input text box. Let's make sure you can really see where that is. There it is. And I'm going to go ahead and do an on click event handler. On click, I'm going to call my function, my show hide ship info function. That should take care of it. I will hit save, jump back over to my browser, hit refresh. So now if I check this box, shipping info disappears. If I uncheck the box, shipping info appears and I can fill out this part of the form. Now you could do double duty. Not only would you, you could hide this from the customer, but you could also fill it in. You know, you can take the values basically of these various inputs and insert them in the values of these inputs. But this is pretty nice. And because I used label tags with four attributes referring to ID attributes, you can just click anywhere on this question to hide or show that shipping information a part of the form. Okay, so that is the basic script right there. Little function, a little conditional if statement, if else. Have fun.